I'm doing a, my, a science fair project, and the name of it is called Pavana's Winds. Pavana is a Hindu god of wind. My main question for this science fair project is, can a wind turbine power a suburban house? My, hypo my hypothesis is, well, I think a wind turbine probably can power a suburban house, maybe even more. This, at the moment, is the base. Basically, all I really did to create the space was get some old wood that I had down in the basement. Um, me and my dad cut it up, and then I used this hot glue gun to um, glue everything together. I'm making a vertical axis wind turbine. This is the axis that the wind turbine will be spinning on. This eye screw will attach the axis to the base. My materials are cardboard or foam board. Um, I used a one liter soda bottle for the actual wind turbine, but if you change the dimensions of everything, you could probably use some. You could probably make it a different size. I used uh, I used one seven eighths of an inch screw eye. I used I'm also going to use four washers. I'm going to use one. I'm going to use a wood screw. I'm going to use plywood at least 14 centimeters by 25 centimeters for the bottom of the base, which I've already done. I'm going to need some white glue, magnet wire, and four discs magnets. They should be, probably be anyways, rare earth magnets. And uh, I'm going to use wood for framing, which I've already done. And I'm going to use a 1 4th inch wooden dowel, which is this stick. The tools that I'll need for this project is a utility knife, sandpaper, a ruler, it's probably better to use a metal one like this, and also have to be very long, we're at 18 inches, a pencil sharpener, a screwdriver, electrical tape, and a pencil. Now guess what? All we have to do is build this in and then hope that it works. It's important that you don't glue this piece in place. See? Four coils, so they each have to be equally distanced. 
from each other. This is a cardboard jig. I'm going to make four coils. Each coil is going to be wrapped around one piece of tape 200 times. I'm going to use this magnetic wire to um, wrap around. Altogether, this process took about 30 minutes. I have four nice little coils that I now have to put on my stator. I'm going to test the resistance of my coils with this ohm meter that I bought. But first, I'm going to have to sand off the enamel um, of each end of these copper wires. As you can see, there is no resistance um, from these two coils, none whatsoever, which is very good because if there's no resistance, then electrons can pass much easier through the wires. 